Bam! <laughs> Before you leave with the chin, leave with the charm. How you doing? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Charm. It's motherfucking Cuba time. I'm gonna smoke me some Cubans on this episode of Leave the Charm. Before you leave it to chance, leave it to charm. That's me. Peep the timeline. Me and my girl Shakira and her mom and her godmother. Initially, we were going to go to Miami to party and cut up a few days before we left for the cruise in Tampa. But because of the storm, we weren't able to, so we had to go to Leesburg anyway to get her godmother. And then we went from there to Tampa. When we get to Tampa, there was about to be a riot. They thought we were gonna go to Cancun initially instead of Havana, so a lot of people weren't having that. Once we realized we were actually going out to sea, people were like, oh no, like I'm not going out in the middle of a hurricane. They didn't know what they wanted, but they sure was back on that boat though, because they was trying to waste all that money. You know what? It is what it is. We still got to go on the cruise an hour late after the whole riot died down and kept it pushing from there. That cruise ship was on the smaller side, but I preferred it because there weren't a lot of people. The staff was sexy. I didn't know what to do sometimes. I mean, I knew what to do, but I didn't do it because I was being, you know, a well-behaved gentleman. There was good entertainment. The food was actually on point. The drinks were cute for what it was. It could have been stronger. The pool was dope, despite it always being filled with kids. The water slide was crazy. I ended up ripping my swimming trunks sliding down that motherfucker. Like my kitty cat was all out of the place. It was, it was terrible. Oh, ciao. Havana, that was a trip. Hot as Haiti when we stepped off that damn boat into that city. Beautiful city though. Beautiful citizen. Beautiful everything. It was just the time of my life. We went on a classic car tour. We were just going around from spot to spot to spot. I got to see like Revolutionary Plaza and just stunt and feel the fantasy. And that evening we went out to a few bars, just cutting up, like meet with the locals, these fine ass locals. Shout out to Alejandro. Yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely be back in Cuba soon. Irma had me fucked up out in the international waters, fucking up my cruise, fucking up all my plans to get there. We were literally out to sea after we evacuated Havana. In the middle of the cruise, all of a sudden, they were like, oh, like, we're going to be docked in Mexico because we can't go back to Tampa. So we literally ended up in Cozumel the next morning. I woke up and we were in Cozumel. <laughs> Cozumel, like, was dope. It was like an additional trip without, you know, having to really do too much. But it was still sucky that I was stranded out there for like a good minute. Hurricane season. What can you do? We got to go on a little private beach tour that one of the cab drivers took us to. Mad cool. I forgot his name. I got him on Facebook. Hold on one moment. Here we go. Like my boy Juan. He's the one that hooked me up with that Fab Cab tour. How you doing? Shout out to Juan. We went to all these cool like local beaches we went to the 7-eleven bought like a whole thing of beers we just chilling on the beach we chilled on two separate beaches that first beach was dope we got to chill like drink and be merry and he took us to uh, the last beach on our tour stop we there for like maybe a few hours met some of the locals swam with them chill with them drink with them cosmo was dope during the daytime and then that night we went to senior frog i was dancing my ass off we had a little conga line where it was feeding the shots and then we got to shake our asses on the main stage and i was feeling myself mexico was kind to me i'll be back It's topical turn up, y'all. Being that I was just there recently and with the recent ish that they got going on with that hurricane and earthquake and all that, I need y'all to, you know, find a special place in your heart and actually donate, send food, money, whatever. Volunteer some time if you're down there. Go and help out, just like you would for these people in Puerto Rico as well. I know I'm going to try and contribute what I can, so you should too. Okay, my lovely people, I need you to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and also donate to the Patreon because a bitch is broke. You keep the money flowing, I'll keep the party going. First beach was dope because 
Um, I, well, it wasn't really compared to like what my girl Shakira was going through when she broke her toe. But, um, sorry, Shakira. <laughs>